Hello. Welcome to Silver Thread Sewing. I'm Diane. I appreciate you stopping by. I hope that you will find something that you enjoy about my video. Um, I guess I wanted to introduce myself. This is my first uh, hopeful <laughs> YouTube video. Um, I live in the United States. I live in uh, Western North Carolina and um, I have been sewing pretty much since I can remember. I don't really ever remember a time that I didn't sew. Um, I've never been perfect at it. I still make a lot of mistakes, especially with fitting. I have to work really hard at that. Um, I have some body um, differences that I always have to account for in, in patterns. Um, forward shoulder, uh, high round back adjustment. Um, and I usually raise the armhole by one inch most patterns. Um, some of the independent patterns, uh, I don't have to make as many adjustments. I find they, they tend to fit me better than some of the big four, but the big four is what I primarily have used always in the past just because I didn't live in an area uh, that had anything else available. But now with internet and with the independent pattern companies and the PDF patterns that are now available, I have began using those and I like them. I love the, the fit with most of the independent pattern companies is so much easier and better if, in my opinion, better in my opinion uh, and better for me. But I hate, I hate sticking the patterns together. I hate cutting the pages and I hate taping them together. Um, I've not started sending anything out to a, a printing company or anything <clears throat> simply because it's, you know, it adds to the expense. And sometimes I can find a really nice free pattern on, uh, you know, different, different companies. And, you know, then if I go ahead and have it sent out, I have to wait and go travel to pick it up or wait for it to come in the mail. And I'm kind of impatient. I've never been blessed with patience. So I like to find the pattern, uh, download it, stick it together and make it all the same time. So, um, that's kind of, that's the main thing I enjoy about PDF patterns. Anyway, I am uh, married to my husband, Greg, who is very supportive of my sewing. He has no idea the joy of uh, fabric purchasing and pattern purchasing and all the things, but he's very supportive and he um, he's allowed me to have a, a room in our house to, to devote to my sewing. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, I have two children. They are grown. Um, my daughter is 30 and my son is 33. Um, uh, she and her husband um, both work, so she doesn't have a lot of time to sew. She does have a sewing machine and she's getting really good at sewing. Um, back during the early months of COVID, um, she helped me make masks for you know some doctor's offices in our area, for church people, for people in the community. We made about 600 masks in the early months of COVID in 2020, and uh, we never charged for anything, uh, but some people did give us donations toward the material and stuff, and she learned some really valuable skills, and she's, she's very good at sewing, and she's very careful and very precise. She wants her sewing to be very precise and I get a little impatient sometimes and just want to get it done and you know that usually leads to problems. Uh, my son actually he can he can sew. Um, he does cosplay a lot and we've made him a few pretty detailed costumes. Now he was the brains behind it but I did most of the sewing but he can sew some and he's very good at figuring out how to arrange things and how to um, um, alter things if they don't fit the way he envisioned them fitting or whatever. So he's very good at that. Um, what else? Um, I am a type one diabetic. I have been since I was 18 years old. Um, I've been so fortunate. I have an insulin pump and I have a, uh, um, a continuous glucose monitor, if you've ever heard of that. So now's a, you know, it's a great time with all the new inventions and things, so I've been very fortunate. I did have my first um, bleed in my left eye a few months ago, and I've been having the injections for that. Um, I won't go into detail because it's as awful as it sounds, and I don't want to gross anybody out, but it is pretty, uh-huh. 
but um, I go back the 12th of January, so I'm hoping that, you know, things will be improving soon. Uh, I can still sew, and I can still drive, and all the things. I do have a small area in my field of vision in my left eye that is not perfect. It's, um, you know, some distortion and things like that, but I've had it for, well, I'm <clears throat> 38 again this year. <clears throat> I've been 38 for like 18 years. <laughs> I'll let you do the math. People are starting to look at me a little funny when I say that. <laughs> so I probably need to move up to like 40 at least with the bags and wrinkles and the gray hair and all that. I probably need to, to change my go-to number, but I've lied about it for so long that I kind of forget how old I really am. <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, this will primarily be a sewing channel. Um, so if you if you can stand my southern accent from the mountains of North Carolina in the United States and my twang, <laughs> then I, then Lord love you because I know I know it's a it's a strong voice, it's a strong accent. I've had it all my life, and I don't think I could change it if I wanted to. So um, if it's something that you can handle and don't mind, <laughs> or can be amused by, it's totally fine with me. Um, I laugh at myself a lot more than most anybody else ever could, trust me. Um, I have <clears throat> I have been sewing most all my life. I don't know if I already said that. Um, my earliest memories are trying to sew two little scraps together with a needle and thread. Um, I did um, finally get to sew on my mom's, my grandmother's um, <clears throat> Singer treadle machine that was built in 1911. Um, but I was so little, my feet were so little that I had to use both feet to treadle it because I'd have to put one on the back and one toward the front. My foot wasn't long enough to do one motion. So I sewed on that for a long time and knew that I loved it. My dad's mother, um, she actually quilted and she had made all their clothes growing up, my dad and his brother and his sisters. Um, she did it out of necessity, of course. <clears throat> she would cut down my grandpa's overalls to make my daddy and his brother pants. And <clears throat> she could take a newspaper and see a, see a dress or a garment that she liked, and she could take that newspaper and cut out a pattern and make it. And I always wanted to do that so bad because I just thought that was the ultimate uh, talent. Um, I can't do that. I have learned a great deal through YouTube and through books and things that I have now to alter patterns somewhat uh, to fit me. I don't make a lot of garments to fit anybody else because I'm not that great at it. I still have a lot of fails fitting myself, let alone anyone else. Now, I have made Callie, my daughter, a couple dresses lately. Um, I took some dresses that we knew fit her and I did kind of copy that uh, the bodice especially in the sleeves and I've been able to make her three or four dresses that have fit her really well and she really likes and I hope to make her some more this summer um, and I hope that I can teach her to make them and yeah that's my hope because I really want her to sew because if I die all this fabric and all this stuff my husband is not going to be happy so I want somebody to pass it on to <laughs> So he doesn't have to deal with it if I if he outlives me. So uh, it's kind of selfish, I guess. But I really want her to start sewing. Um, I have uh, I have a little sewing room here in our house. Um, I have a Genome um, Air Thread 2000D serger, which I will show you a picture of. Um, I have a Foff um, Quilt Expression 720. That was my dream machine. I've always wanted a Foff machine because of the integrated walking foot. Um, and it, it did not disappoint. It's a great machine. Um, there, it, it's not probably as impressive as I had thought it was going to be simply because I don't like not having a presser foot lifter, that little handle. It's all automated and controlled by buttons, and I'm not used to that. I'm used to the old machines, you know, so that has taken me some getting used to, but it works really good. It makes a beautiful stitch, and I'm very thankful for it, and um, I really do love it, but I also have a little Singer Quantum 9960 that my husband got me a few years ago, and I absolutely love that little machine. It has done really well. I know a lot of people don't like Singers now, but I love that machine. It's done a great job. I did, uh, when my daughter and I made all the 600 masks back in 2020, I did 
mess up some of the, I messed it up. I messed up the bobbin case. So I had to replace a couple parts in it, but I did that myself so it didn't cost anything but the parts. And it, it's fine now. It sews great. But I, I did try to do things on it that, that it wasn't strong enough to do. And I did damage it. I also have a um, Juki. It's a, a HZL DX7. It's a great machine. It has the, um, the extended, uh, the bed of the machine is extended. It's a great, great machine. It makes a better buttonhole, I think, than the FOF does. And I also have a Jack Industrial machine. And I'll show you some picture of the, pictures of those machines uh, just so you'll kind of know what, what I have. And, um, and hopefully I'll be able to show you some of what they will do at some point if you're interested. Like I said, I know we have a lot of sew sewing vloggers and a lot of people who do a much better job than I ever could. But um, I do miss having somebody to talk to about sewing. My mom was always very interested in it, but she passed away uh, March 1st of last year. And I've noticed that I just don't have anybody that I can talk to or take it and say, look what I made. I, I mean, I show it to my husband and my daughter and they are interested, but it, at the same time, it's not the same as having somebody that, you know, I can sit and talk to about it and say, look what I did or look what I did wrong or, you know, whatever. So maybe this will be a channel that is um, what not to do when you're learning to sew. Maybe maybe we can do that because I've made so many mistakes over the years. So that might be what we do. We'll see. But um, thank you for, for stopping by um, and getting to know me a little bit and letting me ramble on at you here. Um, and I hope that uh, we can be friends. I hope that we can share stories and talk in the comments and, um, you know, that it can just be something that will add to the community a little bit of sewing. So thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you soon. Bye.